Hey, this is Tom. This is day 52 of 100 Days of Making Minis. And today I finished um, poking out, kind of getting the proportions down for Sir Frogsworth. So I'm not sure. I think I might end up needing to tweak it just a little more. But I think I'm going to follow some advice I was giving other people when I was telling about my experiences with ZBrush. And that is, I just need to go to the pose. So I think I'm going to pose this thing up just with the basic body proportions and start sculpting with it. It's very easy to get sucked in to, you know, you don't want to leave symmetry. You know, as soon as you pose, you're done sculpting symmetry. And that's a little scary. But the funny thing is, is I've never had symmetry my entire life sculpting. So why do I need it now? I don't. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to start posing this guy tomorrow and I'm excited to see how it turns out and I oh and I just watched a tutorial uh, about how to record what I'm sculpting in ZBrush so I'm hoping that uh, tomorrow's video I will be able to show that where it's actually you can actually see how I'm working on the figure on the screen so uh, and I got one more thing to show you as I was recording yesterday's video and going through all the stuff I got from Dubticon, I somehow completely missed uh, showing you guys the figures that I got from Bombshell Miniatures. So I've got a, um, I don't know their official names, but I've got this lion, man, two guys for the GDF, the Galactic Defense Force, uh, to help bolster my ranks for that group. Uh, for Patrick's Counter Blast game. Uh, these figures I love, he actually has I really like these, but he has these for um, other groups as well. They actually come with these plastic, hard plastic bubble helmets that fit right over. So after you paint it all up, put it on, and it, it's a real helmet. It's super awesome. He's got for all the different group uh, characters in this group, different sizes, so it all matches perfectly to what they need. Uh, the next guy I got, it's a fish man. Uh, there it is, his head. Super cool looking. And... Expanded my Illyrian collection. This is kind of a Han Solo Illyrian guy character, so he's more of like a free trader smuggler type. And lastly, this cat lady, uh, Sniper, which is one of my favorite figures that he's made so far. It's got a lot of cool movement and action to it, you know, even though it's just got this. It, I really like poses where miniatures are just standing there, but where there's real weight and balance to the figure. Um, you'll see a lot of, you know, I, I love old GW figures, but a lot of times they're they're just staying there flatly. These, uh, Patrick did a really good job on these guys of giving them some action and movement without having to make them super dynamic and therefore typically uh, many parts and hard to assemble. So all of this is this one little piece here to attach and there it is. Okay, thanks for watching, I'll see you tomorrow.